Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for uh, those of you who use Game Maker and uh, those of you who have uh, Game Maker Studio and are trying to figure out how to make uh, Android buttons. Um, basically the end result will look like this on your phone so that whenever you hit the little white button he'll move to the right, hit the little green button, he'll move to the left. Now, I have it set up in Windows right now just to show you because if I uh, if I do it through my Android, it's actually hooked up to my phone, and y'all won't be able to see that. But, um, let's go and start off with, uh, our first three sprites. Our, uh, player, make him 32 by 32, and he doesn't have to be anything special. You just make him a little square with two eyes and a mouth. then buttons for the buttons make sure to make them 64 by 64 Need that. Need that simply just do that do the exact same thing for the third button make another button Alright, and uh, first things first is uh, go ahead and create, just create one room. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay. It doesn't matter uh, how big the room is, um, I guess it'll vary on your game. Um, this was meant to be a side scroller, so the room's actually a lot longer than it is wide. But just create them through room, do it to whatever size you want. Then go back to objects and you're gonna create your first object. And it'll actually be the player. All you have to do is attach the player sprite. You don't have to add anything else in this. The second will be the object controller. Go ahead and rename that object the uh, Again, the object controller. You're going to go into uh, Add Event, hit Create. It'll make the little Create Event for you. Then you'll go over to Control, Execute Code, drag it over. And it should open up so that you can start putting stuff in. And uh, this is all you really have to do right here. Is uh, Now I labeled mine just like that. You don't have to do that but you add a virtual key it's going to ask you for basically the X, Y then the width, the height, and what key code you want to use and we'll do that let's see here Sixty-four, twenty-eight. Make it sixty-four wide, sixty-four high. That's the size of the buttons that we were using. And this one, we'll use VK down. That way, basically what it does is it creates the key that way whenever they hit the button that's drawn out, let me see here, whenever they hit the button like, we'll say the right button that's already set up, as soon as we have this set up already, whenever they would hit it, it would register as almost like the keyboard function. Um, it'll pick up on it right away and he'll, you know, move his little body over this way. And let's go back to this now whenever you go to draw the buttons always actually do it in the draw GUI function not draw, draw GUI and this is where he would actually move now we've already like I said we've already got it set up to where he moves to the right if we press the right he moves to the left if we press left simple change of 
x plus equals 2 to the right. Simple change x minus equals 2 for left. Now we'll go and do the, what was it, down? If keyboard check. And this basically kind of, like I said, checks to see if the person is pressing the button through a keyboard check. And we wanted to do this code, which is draw sprite, sprite 2. Oh. Well, yeah, we can use whichever sprite. I haven't created another one. Zero. And remember what the X and the Y are whenever you put them in in the uh, create function over here? Because you actually need them. If you notice the X and the Y here, if you change them anywhere at all, you may as well do it to everything. You have to do it to everything actually. So 64. 128. So, 64, 128. Close that off. There's Y. OBJ. Okay. One dot Y. Minus equals two. There we go. Let's draw sprite. Sprite two. Zero. Sixty-four. One twenty-eight. And uh, basically, what this does is, if you want to change your button colors, which is really simple, all you have to do is make another uh, make another sprite image and then just change the summit sub image but if you just want to do that whenever they hit the button this is all you have to add in right here really simple nothing to it but let me go ahead and shut this down go ahead and redo this on Windows Be sure to add your player object and your controller object to your room, otherwise it will not work. But uh, if you notice, whenever I added in the coding over here to draw the button, it draws the button, and it'll, it'll do all the coding that we put in there. Like I said, he'll move down, I want to say he'll move down, that might be a plus on the... On the I'm looking at it. Um, but anyways, if you try this on your phone, like I said, I've already tested it on my phone. It works perfectly fine. Um, he'll move to the right if you hit this little button, move to the left on this. Um, now, for some of you who are, I guess, asking how do you get the droid option on here, uh, you do have to pay for it. So if you don't have it, unfortunately, uh, can't really test out stuff right now. Um, may want to bring that up to them in the forums. Um, Alright, well, I hope this uh, helped somebody out there. And uh, if you have any questions...